Initial reports from the rugged mountains of eastern Afghanistan said Taliban kidnappers killed British aid worker Linda Norgrove as U.S. forces tried to rescue her. But British Prime Minister David Cameron questioned that account after the top commander in Afghanistan, General David Petraeus, reviewed the incident. General Petraeus has since told me that review has revealed evidence to indicate that Linda may not have died at the hands of her captors as originally believed. Instead, Mr. Cameron said American soldiers may be at fault. The new facts suggest that Linda could have died as a result of a grenade detonated by the task force during the assault. However, this is not certain and a full US-UK investigation will now be launched. The rescue attempt took place in Kunar province. Norgrove was kidnapped there last month while working for an American aid group. Security analyst Fraser Bomford says it's a tough part of the country. In Kunar province, in the east of the country, it's currently very volatile, very dangerous. Uh, the terrain is very difficult. Um, and it's one of the reasons why it was difficult to find out information quickly. A mounting death toll among British forces is making Afghanistan an increasingly unpopular war here in Britain. And Afghan President Hamid Karzai's announcement that his government is negotiating with the Taliban could make the war more controversial than it already is. <coughs> Richard Holbrook, America's special envoy in the region, says the United States backs the talks with conditions. Anyone deciding to rejoin the political system in Afghanistan has to renounce al-Qaeda, lay down their arms and participate in the constitution of the country. British officials say they approved a rescue for Ms. Norgrove because they did not believe negotiations for her release had reached a serious stage and they feared for her life. We would always recommend it as a very last resort and would press initially for a negotiated settlement. Haste isn't always the quickest answer in these matters. The British Prime Minister says he is certain he will go over the decision for a rescue a hundred times. I'm clear that the best chance of saving Linda's life was to go ahead recognizing that any operation was fraught with risk for all those involved and success could by no means be guaranteed. In Kabul and other parts of Afghanistan, U.S. and British officials will review the evidence they have to determine what happened during a rescue attempt that did not end well. Jennifer Glass for VOA News, London.